Hello and welcome back to Ada Style Minute. For those of you who know me, welcome back. And for those of you who don't, my name is Ada De Ferrari. I'm a personal style coach helping women look good and feel good in their clothes. Now I have a special series for you all about dressing for your body shape. I'm going to be covering all the different body types and all the different body shapes, how to identify your body shape, and also what tops to wear, which tops to avoid, what bottoms to wear, what bottoms to avoid, and how to put complete outfits together, again, to make you look good, feel good, so you do good and you're super confident throughout the day in what you're wearing. So without further ado, let's get started. Today I wanted to talk about the rectangle shape, which is actually the most common shape. I think 80% so of women have this shape. And that's basically when your shoulders, bust, and hips are similar in size and you don't have a defined waist. And as a belt designer, I hear this all the time, like, I can't wear a belt because I don't have a waist. Well, welcome to the club. That's 80% of us that don't have a defined waist and that's why we want to wear belts, actually. Our styling challenge is to create an illusion of a waist, to define our waist and to be able to create those curves on the top, on the bottom, so that we have like, again, kind of that illusion of an hourglass shape. But why do we even want to do that? Well, because when you get dressed in the morning and you look good, you feel good, you just do good for the rest of the day. So putting on something that makes you feel really good, not just comfortable, but yes, comfortable, of course, but makes you feel really good about your body, about your body shape, about your body type, about just your own self, how you look in the mirror, it gives you more confidence and you're gonna feel better throughout the day. So let's get back to, again, illusion dressing. Some of the celebrities that have your body shape, the rectangle body shape that don't have that defined waist, Cameron Diaz, tall, slim, yes, but she doesn't have a defined waist. So her stylist and her herself, she's just always looking for ways to create um, a waistline and that could be done through belts and through some of these tops that I'm going to be talking to you about today. Also, Queen Latifah and Hathaway, there are many women, again, plus size and uh, petite and tall and just, again, different different uh, sizes of all ranges. But again, their, their body shape is more of the body shape where they don't have a defined waist. 80% of women, once again. So what are some of the tops and what are some of the different outfits that we could put together that uh, help us define a waist? Well, first of all, and especially now that with spring weather and going into summer soon afterwards, wearing dresses is amazing. I think that dresses are just so versatile. You can put on even a loose dress and then belt it and it'll give it shape beautiful way to again create those curves to just create an outfit in a cinch also anything with like a low lower v, v neck neckline it doesn't have to be super low but tops and dresses with a v neckline are very flattering for a rectangle shape because if you picture it like you're you know again like just more of a rectangle so you want to create those curves with either v necks or scoop necks you want to go kind of contrast to the shape that you already have and then speaking of contrast wearing contrasting colors at the waistline, it creates illusion of a waist. So whether you wear something light or dark, but you're again highlighting the waist with that contrast because your eye is drawn to it, that creates an illusion of a waistline. So yes, belts, absolutely, but also the contrasting colors really help. And some of these tops that I brought in for you, the peplum top as the pe as the very common um, and great uh, top that has like that illusion of a waistline doesn't have to be super fitted and dress like almost for the top, but anything that has that little kind of faux line around the waistline is going to help you look like more elongated and define your waist. Tucking in your blouse is again, a little bit of a contrasting color, but tucking in blouse, I have a great video about all the different tuckings, tucks you can do. It doesn't have to be only a front tuck. You could do lots of different ways of bringing uh, the eye up around your waist without necessarily, if you're not feeling super comfortable in that area, then you can, you know, still uh, minimize the tummy area, but highlight the waist at the same time. And then also tops that have just 
interesting detailing such as like off the shoulder or maybe a little bit of a puffy sleeve any kind of interesting detailing that makes your maybe shoulders look more broad it's going to make your waist look smaller therefore defining your waist and layering as well is always um, a wonderful way to minimize the tummy area but also highlight the waist so that's what you'll look amazing wearing i would also suggest you can try a a high-waisted jean and belting it that would be great as well and here we have an auto collection belt um, if you want to check out auto collection belts they're wonderful little one size versatile pieces super soft leather and you can either place them um, high on the waist or you can belt your with a dress for example or a top or you could um, belt your high-waisted jeans or wear it even lower if that's what you'd like to do but belts are a great way to define your waist honestly and especially with auto collection belts are very soft they mold beautifully to the body and we're all about embracing women's body types and shapes and one size pieces fits all also you can try layering with a blazer with a v-neck that's also wonderful again this is another layering piece to help define the waist here are additional tops that you might want to check out tops anywhere that's any top that kind of cinches at the waistline jackets too that have a fit or flare they could have a belt you can put in a belt or you could just kind of look for something that's uh fit and flare so when you raise up your arm if it goes straight down it's not defining the waist if it's a little bit tapered in around the waist that's what you want to go for you could always take a top to a tailor as well and have it uh have it tailored in in fact that's a very big celebrity secret is they take tops to a tailor and have them tapered in at the sides and again any kind of interesting detailing sleeveless tops if that's what you want to go for again you could see i have a versatile amount of different types of tops and styles because it depends also on your comfort level and if you want to show off your arms your shoulders etc etc but any kind of interesting detailing contrast defining the waist with a belt is how you're going to get that illusion of a waistline so i hope this helps I hope you had some great takeaways from today's videos. If you did, leave a comment for me below. If there's something I didn't share and you'd like to add, then please do so as well. And if you, again, like this video, give me a thumbs up. I've got lots of freebies down below, so go ahead and download those or check those out for yourself as well. And I'll see you next time 